Get in the view as well. Got here a um, zinc carbon rod from those little, um, I think it's Ever Ready or Toshiba, those cheaper range of generic or generic AA batteries. So, yeah, ones that tend to leak have this setup, but they just have a, um, a thick carbon rod C uh, core. But you do you take this out off that positive uh, end cap, squeeze the battery uh, with the pliers all the way around so you get a loosen of the, um, the, the paste or the carbon, whatever the hell it is. And this will just pull straight out. Then, what you do, you hook it up to a high current supply and sure light up. I might as well get the jumper cables and I'll demonstrate. Okay, viewers, got my little transformer here. Have jumper leads, I get this carbon rod from the battery. And this is going to be a bit difficult because um, I've got to take too much. Oops, hold the camera for a second here. There you go, and you drop the camera. Um, yeah, you got to take all the stress off this as you can because it, as, it, as this burns, the air will react with it. And it will, um, yeah, either go pop, or a small pop with a spark, or just yeah, disintegrate slowly into flames. So yeah, yeah, just turn back on that core unit. Right, just start to get hot. There you go. I'm going to lock the board on for it. When the air starts reacting with it, it should go bang. I used to do it with um, grey lead pencils. These don't tend to last long, man. The bigger the rod, the carbon rod, the longer it lasts. But if I use something like a, um, a large uh, arc rod or something like that, that would be a lot brighter. Yeah, yeah. it's not what I'm expecting, but. It's lit, it's lit the little board on fire under here. So yeah. You don't have to clean this rod up either when you pull it out of the battery. It has like a gum all over it. You put, as soon as you put current through this to stop it, whatever crap from the batteries on that will burn straight off. Yep, that's left a nice black mark on the board there, so it'd get pretty hot. Anyway, yeah, give a little look at the sky. I'm supposed to be the remnants of that bloody cyclone. Looks a lot blacker on camera than what it, uh, on in video uh, in real life than what it does on the camera. And I try with this pencil here, I'll try and shave some of this yeah wood off. Get out a good burn out, burn the wood off that, and we'll see how long that lasts. Just take this off carefully. I want to keep that. Try and pop it up to the old arc wood I've got. Yeah, that might. Yeah, that's about two on the next. Flat out, if I use a high voltage one, which is 80 volts, which that should be a lot brighter. Although it won't last as long. But yeah, I'll give this a good file back so I can get an excess of lead. I'll give this a burn out. Okay, the oil's off. The range just started up. Hopefully the power hasn't failed, but the power has a light still on there. Try and get this pencil to hold as best I can. Yeah, I'm up a little a bit. Yeah, it's almost like that warm. That's a good thing. Come up on the road, I hold this pencil. See that? Have power on. That should work. Alright. Although I don't know if this is the right type of lead. I use HB, which is more effective. Yeah, that's pretty effective. You can see it that disintegrated straight away. The lead's gone, so you're going to need to use. Um, if you take the lead out, have this in a, like a filament holder, bits of wire, stick that in the milk bottle with a sealed cork and have it on a vacuum pump, take the air out, and that lead will last, will never ever break down, it'll last for ages. It'll just keep getting hotter and hotter, because there's no air. So, took the air out of the equation, this will work real well. Yeah, the lead keeps breaking down. There we go. Grey lead pencil burning up. 
Yeah, that old pencil smell. <laughs> there you go, the lid's glowing, the actual, yeah, the, um, the grey lid's glowing, glowing red hot. <laughs> I think it's breaking down, I can't, there you go. There you go, lead starting to break now, it's sparking up. There's a lead right there. There we go. No, it keeps breaking down. Oh, that's bright. Can't get a good connection on here now, just gonna try and plow it a bit. <sighs> Come on. No, can't get a good connection. If you look carefully, there's a big hole etched into it where the air broke it down. Um, yeah, my type of jumper legs haven't got a good enough clean area to get a good connection on this thing, so I'll try and clamp it on if I can. Let me go again. Yeah, right there. Right as, damn, that's bright. That's it. At that point, the air breaks it down. Oops, I broke it. Around riding goggles, that's very bright. Damn, that is bright. Okay, viewers, that's enough playing around with high current and grey lead pencils for today, so yeah. Thanks for watching.